गाइज वेलकम बैक टू अनदर एपिसोड आई एम यू होस्ट महेश कार एंड यू वॉचिंग मी ऑन यूट्यूब लाइफ टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट काइंड ऑफ रेस्ट फुल एपिया एंड स्प्रिंग बूट एंड मॉन्गड़ी बी सो लेट्स टिक डाइव इन टू इट सो एज यूजल आई एम गोइंग टू यूज विजुअल स्टूडियो कोड फॉर माई एडिटिंग सो यू कैन ग्रैब योर पैकेज फ्रॉम हेयर कोड डॉट विजुअल स्टूडियो डॉट कॉम दिस इज अवेलेबल फॉर ऑल द प्लेटफॉर्म्स दिस इज वेरी लाइट वेट आई हाईली रिकमेंड यू गाइज टू यूज दिस थिंग यू कैन यूज एनी एडिटर बाय द वे इंटेलिजे योर ऑर्डर इट मे बी एंड द नेक्स्ट थिंग इज डॉकर for your system search for docker i am going to use docker for my mongodb installation so you will get this very first link over here and click here on docker from docker hub <coughs> uh, from here you can this is available for mac and windows okay guys so you have to download this and otherwise you can use uh, official mongodb link uh this one and you can click here try it for free and uh, you will get the 500 mb of free storage over here you have to register this thing so it's all up to you whether you use docker or anything else or you can install mongodb directly onto your system it's all up to you so open your code and you have to start docker manually and open your terminal and search for docker hyphen hyphen version and you will get your current docker version over here if everything is fine and then inside view before that we have to install few extensions from here click here and search for java enter you will get this uh, java extension pack over here this one click here and this is combination of six packages you have to download this it will take while the next thing is search for spring enter and you will get this uh, spring boot extension pack this one click here this is combination of another five extensions you have to download this and the last thing is lombok i am going to use lombok so you have to install this one as well this is very essential okay i am going to use lombok so i don't need to use getters setters uh, augmented uh, constructor no augmented constructor so uh, this is same as the spring start dot spring dot io okay but i am not going going to use this thing uh in visual studio code you will get this from here command platter search for spring initializer and you will get this very first link over here click here and select your language like we generally choose language from here java kotlin groovy java is my language your group id generally we this one group id is io.mahesh enter then uh, your artifact id is what mongo enter and choose your spring boot version same as this thing guys okay this version so i am going to use this and search for your uh, plugins spring web which is essential the next thing is mongodb enter and the next thing is lombok If you don't know about Lombok, Lombok is something that allows you to generate uh, getters, setters uh, behind the scenes. So, uh, if you are working on something else like uh, IntelliJ or whatever it may be, so you have to download this plugin for your system. So, open this link project Lombok dot org, and here you will get inside here install. You will get uh, your plugin for your system. I am going to use this. i already have it okay then select this thing it will ask for the location desktop on desktop i am going to create this generate into this folder after that you can click here on open okay it will open another window okay i got this thing uh you have to wait for this this little icon over here it will take some time to grab all the dependencies uh, that's it so the next thing is uh, you can choose this thing exclude in workspace if you get this pop up over here that's it for now okay i got this thing now inside source main java you will get your package io.mesh.mongo okay it's working completely fine now the next thing is open another terminal by clicking here on plus icon and you have to download mysql so docker pull mysql that's it hit enter and 
it will download the latest update of mysql image so again it will take a while if you have a strong internet connection then it's completely fine the next thing is uh, you can create schema over here like you use you can create packages it's all up to you guys okay this is very beginner friendly video so i'm not going to create packages so user.java here i need to define this is my data enter the next thing is entity i guess no document enter and here at id enter and private the id type will be the string okay in because we are using mongodb so the next thing is private string name email and password that's it i guess and here i can use uh, all args constructor hit enter make sure to hit enter every time so it will automatically bring this for you and no args constructor hit enter so this is perfectly fine i guess now i got this my mysql okay so now you can check here the container so you can type this thing docker run hyphen hyphen name and name of your container like my mongo is my name of container you can choose any name by the way and in detach mode i am going to publish this thing in 27017 which is a default port okay so now you can write mongo colon latest so this is my image and this is my tag means latest version okay hit enter i guess and you will get this thing now search for docker ps and you will get this run thing running three seconds ago so everything is all right guys so, so now i can proceed for further process so here create new repository user user repository dot java and you will get this thing choose interface which will be extended by this time this same as jpa repository but this time mongo repository okay hit enter there is not a difference between uh, that hibernate and this thing okay now mongo and choose your user as usual hit enter and the type of your primary key string hit enter that's it we are good to go guys now you can create your controller over here i'm not going to create packages you can user controller dot java so that's it now this is my rest controller like this you can define rest controller hit enter and uh, request mapping make sure to use a request mapping because we are going to use a uh, swagger for now so make sure to use slash api for now and the next thing is this is cross origin because uh, if you want to work with your angular react whatever it may be you have to have uh, you have to define your path of where you want to allow this to use okay like local host on port otherwise this is for all if you write this only it will allow all the hosts to grab this thing from here all the user endpoints okay now auto wired hit enter and here in private uh, user repository user repository okay now here i can create my git mapping define path over here and your public method as usual which will return the type of list of users okay so that's it define na method name users okay and in return you can define this thing user repository dot find all method as usual we do in our gpa okay and the next thing is add git mapping this time we can choose for that particular id which will be the type of uh, my string okay user so this time git single user and choose path variable 
because this is in paths okay path variable and type of your id string in return we can return user repository dot uh, find by id this thing or if we don't get user then or else we can pass null only i'm not going to do validation as usual you have to do this on your own post mapping in post mapping the path will be the same but this time i'm going to use public method public method okay okay but uh, uh, post mapping return type will be again user here you have to define the name of your method and request body because we are passing the user in request body user user that's it i guess uh, now this time you can return user repository dot save the user as usual that's it for now again the last the second last thing is put mapping uh, you can define uh, id over here if you want to otherwise inside user i know my id so return type will be again user put user is my name you can define service uh, separately it's all up to you again request body user user you can define old user it's all up to you now first of all i have to find my old user so i can update this thing and the process is same like this copy this thing and old user dot set name and user dot gate name okay you got this right so i'm going to use this for all of them and here you have to write user dot gate id hit enter and now this is my for my email and my password like this so before that i have to save this before proceeding okay so you can return this if you want to so user repository dot save and the old user that's it save this thing and here delete mapping pass your slash id as usual and your public method uh return type will be this time string okay because we are going to return only id so uh delete user so in path variable we are getting id of type string so we can delete this thing user repository dot delete by id this and pass your id over here so okay in return i am going to return id so that's it for now everything is perfectly fine now the last thing is remaining over here inside resource application properties you just have to type for spring dot data dot mongo dot uri i guess mongo ui mongo db dot uri okay and here mongo db colon slash slash local host colon 27017 is default port and you can use any database name for the first time this is my name of database okay now you will get this thing over here so select your project and click here so you will get this thing okay this is running i guess you will will get error i guess let's see okay uh, port 80 it is already in use uh, it's completely fine okay so i can use this uh, server dot port and define another port okay so uh, now let's see you can define port like 80 or whatever it is default port okay so now this is running i guess okay now search for localhost colon 
880 slash API slash enter you will get this empty array okay now I need to download few dependencies click here inside view command platter uh, maven add dependency and click here search for spring fox enter you will get this thing you can use postman as well if you want to this thing so if you are using this swagger then you don't need to use postman anymore okay uh, make sure to use 2.9.2 and select now you can choose always so you don't need to select now all the time okay inside here command platter again add another dependency spring fox swagger hyphen ui for uh, ui documentation okay this one select this one and again change uh, the version 2.9.2 again and select this now so it will grab this okay now you can restart this thing okay now this time uh, you have to make few changes before that inside your demo application you just need to add enable swagger you can do this inside uh, config enable swagger to hit enter okay that's it now again restart this spring boot okay everything is perfect now localhost colon 880 slash swagger hyphen ui dot html and hit enter you will get this beautiful ui and inside here all the endpoints you will get all the endpoints okay uh, so try this out very first link is uh, localhost colon 880 slash api slash execute okay you will get this empty array in response body which is working in post I have to pass try this out and uh, your email is mahesh at gmail.com this is not my official email uh, no need to define ID which is auto generated and name is my mahesh and password is mahesh123 for now try this out okay execute this thing and you will get this thing okay this is working so when you next time hit get method you will not get the empty array instead of that we got a first entity so now inside put you can put this thing let's see how it works now this time i just need to make few changes like this and check this out so yeah i got this in response body so put is also working and the last thing is my get a single user if you want to get a single user you have to have this id available so here try this out put your id and you will get this response okay this is working and the next thing last thing is delete if you know the id of user then you can put this over here and delete it successfully so if you next time hit get users you will get empty array again so thank you very much all of you guys for being with me supporting me all the time if you like this video then make sure to subscribe my channel and thank you so much if you want some more videos uh, let me know inside comment box thank you so much